convention exclusive review coming right up. Mr. Clicks Flicks is brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama, home of the RSC. No matter if you're in the United States or around the world, Lucky Dice Cafe has the winning role for all your gaming needs. You can visit them at LuckyDiceCafe.com or on their Facebook page using the link found in the description of this video. Mr. Clicks Flicks is also brought to you by Trollandtoad.com, one of the largest online gaming retailers. Use the promo code Mr. Clicks Flicks for 5% off your Heroclix order today. Alright guys, so today we are taking a look at some of the winnable uh, special objects that are going to be at U.S. Nationals this year for 2019. I'm pretty excited about them. I like them all. Uh, definitely really cool. They're all uh, Mandarin rings. Uh, and the cool thing about them is that they all uh, have this special uh, bit about them where you can equip two of them uh, to any one character. So uh, when you're looking at these, please keep in mind that uh, you can have any combination of two of them. And you'll see how powerful these can get uh, really fast. So let's go ahead and get started. Up first, we have the Diam Diamonic. Uh, Mandarin ring. It is a light object as are they all. It is indestructible and its uh, effect is improved targeting ignores hindering. This character's attack, uh, when this character attacks a single character and hits after resolutions, the hit character modifies their attack and defense minus one until your next turn. Uh, that is a super powerful ability on its face for five points. Uh, improved targeting ignores hindering is worth five points all by itself. And then uh, when you hit a single character, modifying attack and defense minus one is just really good. Next up is Incandescent. Uh, this one it has the effect of energy explosion. When this character uses it, damage dealt is penetrating. Uh, so penetrating energy explosion is phenomenal. Uh, it used to be something that uh, you could always do if you had penetrating psychic like blast and energy explosion. Uh, you cannot do that now, so it's really cool to see here. Uh, I, th I feel like it's worth five points, especially when you think about some other things that you could run it uh, with to uh, definitely amp up uh, how good it is. And next up is Nightbringer. Uh, this one has the effect of stealth, smoke cloud. Smoke cloud is free, but only to generate two markers. Ooh, free smoke cloud is so good. Uh, there's so many figures that just do really well with smoke cloud, and the fact that you uh, basically generate the two free markers is really cool for five points. It also gives you stealth, so basically what you can do is you can move, free action smoke cloud, and just be in smoke cloud yourself and get your free stealth for five points. The ability to just basically move down the the move down the board unimpeded, like without fear of range attack. Uh, unless they have uh, improved targeting ignores hindering is just really good that's definitely worth five points in my book I, I think that's a really good object next up is spectral this one's effect is precision strike when this character attacks a single character and hits you may choose that the attack deals one damage instead of normal damage if you do after resolutions roll a d6 four through six remove an object equipped to the hit character from the game uh, that is really good so precision strike means that if you take your damage all the way down to one uh, you're still gonna be dealing damage uh, which is really good and then uh, basically you've got a uh, four through six so uh, not quite uh, well it's a 50 50 shot at um, removing that object uh, there's a bunch of figures that really need their object so 50 50 shot at removing it is uh, really good in my book I, I like this one a lot Next up is Spin, and this one's effect is Telekinesis. Free, choose a character within three squares in line of fire. Place that character in an adjacent square. Uh, I like this one a lot. I was really hoping one of the rings would give Telekinesis, and this one does. Uh, and what it's effectively doing is giving you a seven, uh, a seven square TK. Because TK now, it's no longer... Um, you know, you're not TKing out figures your full range. It's your TKing figures... Um, six squares from their original square so what you can do is uh telekinesis free choose a character within three squares and line of fire place that character in the adjacent square so you take your free action first uh to place them within one square and then you tk them another six uh, as long as it's within your full range like let's say you have a range of seven uh definitely helpful there uh, i think that's a really cool billy uh, i'd like to see this one on mr oz because then that you're effectively giving <laughs> a three movement for free after your TK or, or well it varies points throughout your TK for five points I I like this one a lot 
All right, guys, so you let me know in the comments below what was your favorite Mandarin ring. I'd really like to read that stuff. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Give it a share. It really helps keep me motivated to make these videos. That's all I have for you today. As always, please remember that it's on Critical Miss if you don't have probability control.